Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue, welcome to the channel. If you read my latest newsletter, you know that I'm going to stand by my American Midwest pronunciation of bienvenue. I hope that you will subscribe to the newsletter. Be sure to check out the video description for details on that. But I know that's not why you're here. I know you're here because you wanna see the big kitchen reveal. I would like to personally thank you. It was a wonderful month off of August and subsequently September, the perfect time for a sabbatical for myself and for my family. It allowed us to spend a lot of time together and put the finishing touches on the kitchen, which has taken us the last nine months. Now I have six children, so you know nine months sounds like a familiar number and let me tell you, this was very much like giving birth. I've had this idea for this kitchen growing inside of me for so long. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you what this kitchen looked like at the very beginning. But all of these ideas have just been ruminating and growing in my mind, in my heart. I've been sourcing things, I've been sketching things, doing so much research and painting so many individual pieces of tile to get to this point where we are right now today. And so I am going to share that reveal with you. Now, if you are not like me, if you're an instant gratification kind of a girl, you can check this timestamp right here. That'll take you right to the end and you can see the big reveal. But if you would like to see a condensed version of this entire process, then I invite you to stick around for this entire video. The theme going forth on Parisian Farm Girl is going to be French inspired living. And let me tell you, this kitchen is very French and it's very French inspired. I've noticed that when I watch French real estate shows or I look at French real estate, if there is a American kitchen, they will call it as such an American kitchen. This is not an American kitchen. You're going to see all these little details that come together to make it oh so French. It's definitely the kitchen of my dreams and it's unbelievable that it's here right in Northern Wisconsin. So if you're brand new to the channel, I am Parisian Farm Girl. I love Paris. I lead flea market tours there twice a year for my YouTube viewers that would like to come with me. And we live on a farm here in Northern Wisconsin, specifically Door County, which is a very, very beautiful part of America. It's hard for me to believe that was seven years ago. So much effort went in to gutting that kitchen. And if you've been around for a while, you know my favorite expression, neutralizing the ugly, which when I think you are designing, especially designing on a dime, neutralizing the ugly right away is the most important thing that you can do. And then you can hold out and save for those key pieces that are gonna really bring your dream to fruition. Now, if you need help bringing your dream to fruition, then I invite you to visit my online shop, Parisian Farmhouse. Parisian Farmhouse is the sponsor of today's video. I'm so excited to share with you that this new space has had a makeover and now you can shop for your favorite French items that you've seen in our home. I've partnered with vendors and retailers in France, bringing you those items that I think are going to give you that distinct Parisian farm girl, now Parisian farmhouse, look in your own home. And of course, twice a year, I'm making those sourcing trips to the Paris flea market and bringing home items for the shop. So visit Parisian farmhouse for everything from candles to stemware, my favorite cleaning products, linens, aprons, those long matches that you know I love to use when I'm lighting my candles after I've shut down my kitchen for the day, creating that perfect cozy vibe. Over the years, I've answered so many questions on how to get 
the look of our home into your home. Parisian Farmhouse is the answer. So I want you to visit today. Use this code right here, Kitchen Reveal, for 10% off. And I will make that valid until I get on the plane and head on my next sourcing trip, which is October 7th. Thank you so much to our very own Parisian Farmhouse for sponsoring today's video. And now let's take a look back at how this all started. Maybe it's got like something in the middle. Do you want me to jump on it? Ugh, gross. Oh. There you go. I make a good desk, huh? Chill for a minute. Where's my hammer?
I think we should time how long it takes to get these nails out and see if it's a viable way to, if it's a worthwhile way to spend our time. Because as much as I want to save these pieces, like if each piece is five minutes, we can't do that. So I'm going to set a timer and see how long it takes you to do this run. Okay. And then, okay. <laughs> you ready? Nope, I'm not ready. Hang on. Well, okay, hold on. Okay, go, go. That's it? Ah, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> All right, it's about a minute and 35. I just don't want to stack it too high for a like tip. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> There have been so many days of not being able to make progress on this job just because life is going on and there's schooling and we run out of things and have to go get more supplies and we have a, a full schedule without doing a kitchen remodel. So I decided to channel all that energy that I was putting into grouting the boot room into laying more tile. I just needed to go crazy and get a ton done. So I got part of the dining room area tiled and then the next day Joel did me a huge favor. Wait, 
ten times as much as you do, little muffin. Ten times? I mean, you're just a twig, so... Okay, so, uh, Juju might have to help them. I'm sorry. Juju Bean, can you help me with this? Junior, please start bringing tile in for mom, okay? Thank you, buddy. Cause I, I can help you. Yeah, yeah. You can, okay. I we'll have to. I carried this for dad, it's fine. Well, what we have to do is just, okay. I know. No, it's no problem. We have to tip it. Tip it. See how it's gonna, it's hitting the casing? We have to get it into this room? Yeah. I, got, I need it out of my way. I gotta get to work. Oh, fucker. Lift. I, okay. Can you lift? I don't know what to grab. I know. It's really. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's like unbelievably heavy. Not what I expected. I'm shocked at how awkward that was. Okay. Battery just died. random clip here. It is about 9 30 at night, Easter. We had a beautiful day. We went to um, 8 o'clock service, came home and had breakfast. I worked uh, on tile over there and I had made dinner the night before so then at about I don't know <laughs> four o'clock made dessert and set a beautiful table we had a lovely dinner and then I finished I have a couple wonky spots that just happen you know especially with a uh, handmade tile and um, human error so they're kind of just there's about seven of them in the whole project and I'll just cut a uh, tile to fit those spots but this is really amazing. 
Tomorrow we start school again. I'm shot and I leave for Paris um, uh, a week from tomorrow. So over and out. It's a big, crazy shell. Uh, probably five years ago, we made a faux fireplace in the kitchen. And my design idea was that I wanted it to look like... <laughs> my idea was that I wanted it to look like those old chimneys, those old fireplaces that you see in France where it's no longer a working fireplace and instead they've put in uh, the range or like in England, they've put the aga in its place. So um, above that is where I'm starting my Monet tile. I'm painting these tile because I'm obsessed with Giverny. There's my Giverny apron. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to wait until I have all of the hundreds of them painted. So I wanted to get started and just get some instant gratification. There's so many working parts to this project where I'm tinkering with the Monet tile, I'm putting down the terracotta. As we remove the wood floors, we're sanding them and cutting them and storing them in the conservatory, which is where my art studio is, where I paint. It's a pain. The house is going to hell in a handbasket quickly. It's very chaotic. I'm trying to just take it in stride.
Is that going to be wide enough for me? Is this a wide enough piece of wood for what I want? Can we, can we uh, move your phone? Yeah. Because the windows... That's how wide it's going to be right there sticking out. And then the window is going to be on the back part. Is that what you want on the back part? I want the, the windows part? flush on the brick side. So then I have all this window set here. Bug faces and crap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. Except that I can't get this side in yet. Got a little, a little off right there. Right? Yeah. It's dark. It did start to rain. Probably. <laughs> Having a hard time deciding here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a cute little pencil. Isn't yeah, it? Don't you like the pink? Mm hmm. Open it up more. Open them up, it's gonna be blue in here. Yeah, like, I don't like that. Am I gonna put green in my kitchen? <laughs> I don't wanna see baby blue out here. I only want my, my green. Yeah. Well, because the outsides are gonna be green, and then when I open them up, I just did it. He got it, sweetie. Juju got it.
should just sit down. Okay. And hold it instead. Okay, ready for the light, guys? Hold on to the plastic. Yeah, so my camera is right behind the plastic. Okay. Uh, gosh. Oh my gosh. Ta da! Oh my goodness. What is it? It's the light. Look how bright the kitchen is. There you go. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Sweet. Amen. You're going to be able to see like the whole garden from the kitchen. Yeah, you're going to be able to. Turn them to the right, or turn the cold water. In.
here on the Parisian Farm Girl channel, all roads lead to Paris. Come to Paris with me in 2025. Choose from five nights and six days or the extended six nights, seven days. We're going to have a fantastic time. I'm going to take you to my favorite bistro for dinner. We'll enjoy a riverboat cruise. Allow me to help you feel like a Parisienne. Stroll the streets of this iconic city, enjoy a cooking class, a wine cave tour, and of course, see all the classic favorite locations. We will visit three flea markets together and I will help you hunt and bargain like a pro. So grab your passport, your mom, your sister, your best friend, and reserve your spot for one of the April 2025 spaces. There are just eight left between the two trips. Click the link in the upper right hand corner.
Enchanté. So what do you think? I think it was worth the wait. Personally, I'm so happy to be done with the sawdust and the chaos and the plastic hanging from the ceiling and the noise. To have two dishwashers is crazy. I feel like a queen. I'm so happy that you've been here for this whole process. We started this back in February and I appreciate those of you that watched each and every video. Be sure to visit Parisian Farmhouse and use that code Kitchen Reveal for 10% off. I'm excited. My kitchen is done. I'm headed to Paris again with 10 of you in another 17 days. If you'd like to go with me in April, I have eight spots left out of 16. I'd love to have you. Everything you need to know is in this video description. If you have questions about the kitchen and what we've done, I'd love to answer them. In fact, that's what next week's video is going to be about. So you can message me on Instagram in the direct messages, or you can leave a comment below and I'm going to do my very best to work through those this week and answer them all in next week's kitchen Q&A. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting my family and I during our sabbatical. I'm gonna go enjoy my kitchen and I will see you all again very soon. A bientôt. I have to give me a little grayage here. Shoot! Oh, that was pretty good. Crazy analogy. Whew. Oh boy, okay. Okay, you got. You can't make faces behind the camera. So now I don't remember what I was saying because uh, I was no so. Was okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I've noticed that when I watch American, and what did I say? Da 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 da. What? I don't know what I was saying. I was on such a roll. Today's mm, <laughs>